What's up YouTube, Sean Forney here. And today I say goodbye to my beloved Supra. The car that I think I said multiple times I'd probably never sell, but the time has come and that time is today. It's going to a collector in Indiana who will take good care of it. And if he ever decides to sell it, I get first right of refusal. I never get too attached to my cars. I did get pretty attached to this one, but a year and a half, almost two years, somewhere around there, is the longest I've ever kept a car. So that says something about how much I did thoroughly enjoy this car, but I've, it served, I've served my purpose with this car. I, I wanted to be a steward of this car and make it perfect. As you can see, I've done that. I kept my work wheels, sold it with the CCWs that it came with so I can put those work wheels on something else. But today is that day. I'm taking it now to drop it off to the shipper and say goodbye. I'm sure I'll have another one in the future. Maybe not as rare as this one. Maybe I'll have this one again, but I never get too attached and today is the day. So stay tuned. I'll do a little bit of a video of my final send off with my 65,000 original mile 1993 Toyota Supra, VIN number 1101, the hundredth one built. Um, so it is a special car, but again, I never get too married to them. So stay tuned. Thank you guys. But for those that have not been following this car or this car's journey, um, I purchased the car. It was an 8080 giveaway car. A girl in Kentucky had won it and sold it on Bring a Trailer. Um, it was 8080 giveaway car number 30, 31, 32, something like that. You can go to their website and see it. It had a silver wrap on it. And the main reason it had that silver wrap was because the factory black paint underneath was in not the most desirable condition. So whenever I bought it, the wrap was gone. It had the it had the 6766 turbo on it, but it didn't have any of the supporting mods. It didn't have the ECU. Um, so I went on a mission to make the car perfect. So that's what I've done. I've spent a lot of money on this car, making it perfect, got the fuel and supporting mods, car dynoed at 712 horsepower to the wheels on E85, 590 on pump gas, 1200 cc injectors, dual wall bro fuel pumps in the tank, uh, Kazen wiring harness, uh, BTI gauge, blah, 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 the list goes on, the work wheels, all that good stuff. And then of course, um, I've, I had it tuned. So this car was special to me. It was a car that I never thought I'd be able to buy, but I'm on, it's on the greener pastures to a collector that's going to value the car. Um, I'm just at a point in my life where I don't need to have six, seven, eight cars like I do. And plus, I think I'm finally getting close to pulling the trigger on a 992 GT3, which is the car I really want. So in order for me to get that car, well, I need to unload some of my um, fleet for lack of a better terms but this car has been great it's been an absolute blast i've never owned another car that has turned as many heads as a mark IV supra so the whole owner's experience is fully worth it um i do think i'll probably be looking for another fd in the near future that's ls swapped and i gotta do this one more time <laughs> but that's the fun of joining, you know, owning a Supra, right? Uh, is to be able to do that and listen to the 2JZ. But again, I have a first right of refusal on hopefully being able to buy this car again in the future. It's a verbal agreement, but the guy seems trustworthy. I think it's going to a great home. But again, it's the end of uh, a two year long era for me, which is the longest I've ever kept a car. This Supra is the longest I've ever kept a car out of the 150 plus cars that I've ever owned. This is it. So a little bit of a sad day, but again, I never get too attached to the car. So again, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll be doing more videos on my next purchase, uh, which will hopefully happen in the very near future. So thanks again, guys, appreciate you. I'll have probably a little bit more of a send off as it's getting loaded onto the truck. See you guys, thank you.